Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Glory Abba Father. Yes, God of God. They will confess. And they will apologize. When I hear this word, I'm like, God, your mercy is forever, you know. Lord, show mercy. Because when I hear this word, the next thing I hear is that even after Hama was apologizing, trying to like, you know, and kneel down before Esther and the king came and said, wow, you want to subdue, said, uh, so, uh, is it subdue? You want to seduce, <laughs> yes, you want to seduce my wife in my, in my chamber, in my household. You know, and Hama still died. He, he was hanged. So, so, I also think about, you know, how Judas was hung. Though he was like, I don't want to serve Jesus anymore. Please, release him and take your money. I know he must have felt very bad. He must have repented. But one thing is that suicide, it is something that, that is already a self-condemnation. Because when enemy force when enemy face force somebody to go and commit suicide, it means that automatically that person not that not that I, I don't know how to say this that person have already chosen the path he is going or she's going. Is that is going to hell he has already chosen or heaven he has already chosen because suicide God is against suicide. That is why the enemy always push people to commit suicide because when they commit suicide the gate of hell is open that is why it is a very dangerous decision to take committing suicide it is a very dangerous situation decision to take that is why the enemy want to push as many as young people into it because you know the moment they kill themselves through suicide that they are coming to meet him hallelujah he will even increase the fire, I must tell you, because God does not want us to kill ourselves. He wants us to come to him with our body. That is why the Bible says, come unto me, all ye that labored and heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. That is what God wants us to do. He wants us to come to him. He wants us to present our labor. He wants us to present our pain. None that the pain are not there. None that things that will make us to feel suicidal are not there. None that we will not see situations that will make us feel heavy in our heart. But that is why he made it clear. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He did not say, go and kill yourself, all ye that labor and heavy laden. No. He know that many of us will fall into that situation where we'll feel that heaviness, where we'll feel some situation that will be so overwhelming and people will be contemplate, uh, contemplating suicide. Suicide is not an option, child of God, because there is a destiny upon you that needs to be fulfilled. Glory to Jesus. There is a destiny upon you that needs to be fulfilled. That is the trick of the enemy. I hear this was so strongly, child of God. Your enemies will confess and they will apologize. But I pray that it will not be too late so they don't go and kill themselves after they have apologized, after they have confessed. Because that is not going to be on you. That is not going to be on you because you cannot pay a price that you did not owe. I was praying a prayer here a few days ago and the Lord was telling me, the reward of the wicked is not your portion. You need to understand that the, that the wicked has reward. And the reward of the wicked, it is not your portion. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is a way that the Lord will use to expose everyone that have been coming for your life. They will confess and they will apologize. I pray that they find the Lord and they seek for mercy. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. 
I remain your sister, evangelist, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.